Hello and welcome to our next chapter, or chapter 2, lesson 1, uh, drawing objects in Adobe Flash, specifically alignment tools and some drawing. Uh, the very first thing I did on uh, Flash 2-8 is open FL2 underscore 1, and uh, I'm going to save this as tools, so I'm going to do a file, I'm going to save as and I'm going to go to my data files. Now normally you would add, you would go to your data files, there's my file folder, and then I wanted to go to animation, and I'm going to call this tools. So I'm taking that template, I am then resaving it. Saving it as tools. Then from here, I'm going to do essentials, and I'm going to reset essentials. That puts it all back to my standard um, screen that I'm actually dealing with. Now I'm going to do Windows, and I'm going to do, let's see, and this is point three, and I'm going to view magnification fit in window is what I want to do. So I want to do view, sometimes a century, seems to have a little bit of an error. And we want to do magnification, and I want to do fit in window. So I've actually fit it in window. I want to stick the, uh, the stroke color tool, color swatch on the tools panel, and then red, and fill and I want to do blue so basically what that means my stroke I want to do red so there's red that means what it's outlined with and my fills I'm going to actually blue and that's what it's actually filled in with and I want to view I want to go to view and I want to do grid and I want to do show grid that gives me the actual grid now we're going to put some stuff in it it says click the text tool then click character on the properties panel to open its area so I want to do text tool and what they're talking about is if this is shut you want to open this bad boy up right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw some things so we want to click our rectangle tool so now you'll notice I've got my oval tool up I simply click here and I choose my rectangle tool right and I'm making sure my oval isn't I'm going to draw my three rectangles as it appears on figure six. So I'm going to draw my blue rectangle. You'll notice it's filled in with blue, outlined with red. Then I'm going to draw my smaller blue rectangle, filled in with blue, outlined with red. And I'm going to use my shift here so I draw a happy little square. It's not really happy, I guess. Now my square was a little off, so I'm going to grab this bad boy and move it on over. Or, sorry, grab this bad boy and move it on over a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Now, ah. So I'm going to edit and undo move because of the fact that I have the whole thing there and I don't want to leave part of it. i got to grab it all as one and then move it over as a group. Nah, there we are. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to do the same thing with the oval tools. So now I click here and I choose oval. right? And so I'm going to go ahead and make an oval here, make an oval here and I'm going to shift and then make a circle so there we go and now they want me to actually create lines and that's on 2-9 number 6 so I'm going to click over here to my line tool straight line mostly okay and then a straight line here and then a 45 degree angle line there we are so now I've driven my lines driven I've written my lines and then it says clear and I'm on page uh, flash 2-10 and then I want to do insert timeline and I want to do layer right so that allows me to insert another layer so now I have layer 1 and layer 2 now on layer 2 it says click frame 5 on layer 2 so I want to click out here where frame 5 is notice I have layer 2 selected claim frame 5 I want to insert timeline keyframe I'm going to insert timeline keyframe. And what I'm doing is I'm expanding the timeline, but what I just did by doing that is all those shapes exist within keyframe one. And I'm basically resetting it to be here. The timeline I'm not really using to create any motion or anything like that. I'm just using it to create a blank slate. Now the next step, you know, they, they tell you, oh, okay, we're going to do this. And you're like, why am I doing this? Well, the reason I'm doing this is I can actually get used to the pen tool. So I've actually created the pen tool. So I've clicked on the pen tool. Looks like the little uh, bib off a pen. And then I want to click zoom. So I want to zoom in. Here's my zoom. So I want to zoom in. Um, 
I want to zoom in on, let's say, that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, since I have my pen tool selected, I'm going to create a arrow as it appears on figure 8. You'll notice that the arrow that I, I'm going to create on figure 8, um, it doesn't really matter where you select it, but it's going to look like this. So point, point, then two over, one down, one up here, then I'm going to go here, here, and here. Now I then should have a complete, a complete um, item, and I can actually, let's see if I'll, all right, well, that doesn't really matter. And then I want to do my paint bucket tool, which should be red. Let's do edit, undo my pen. Um, interesting. Okay, so I went ahead and I, I can't really tell you what was going on there, but I went ahead and redid some things to double check. And I have now, uh, know what's going I'm using my pen tool, right? And I'm coming along and I'm drawing different pen points. And in this particular case, I'm simply creating an arrow. And notice as I draw to each pen point, it creates that entire pen shape. And then what I can do is I can click on my fill here and then click back here. And now I filled that entire element in. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, click. I'm going to do my view and I'm going to do magnification, fit in window, so it's going to make it larger. And then view and I'm going to unclick my show grid. So I'm going to turn my grid off. So once again, at this keyframe, I have all these shapes that I've uh, drawn. At this keyframe, I have the individual pen shapes. And then I'm going to click on keyframe 10 right here. And I'm going to insert a keyframe. So I'm going to insert timeline keyframe. And what I'm doing, once again, is I'm just creating the object. Now, in my particular case, it's actually brought over that um, arrow. So I'm going to do edit. I'm going to do undo the insert keyframe. And to make it easier for what I want to do, I'm just going to leave it right there because it's going to bring it over. So I'm going to uh, select it as a whole. Hopefully here, there we go, there we go. And then I want to grab said arrow, and I should be able to uh, undo, undo, there we go. And then I want to grab this thing and then see if I can't move it out of the way. It's being very stubborn for all the right reasons. So now I've moved that out of the way and it's all good. So for my selection tool, I moved out of the way. You notice I was trying to use pick it up with my hand. It wasn't working. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a drawing tool. And it says at the top of page of Flash 211, click the pencil tool on the tools panel. So here's my tools panel here. And I want to click the pencil tool on the tools panel itself. And uh, let's see here. That should be. So I'm going ahead and I'm clicking my pencil tool itself. And then I want to click my pencil mode in the options area. Now, if you look right down here, as I selected here, if there's any options related to that tool, it'll actually appear down here. And I want to choose my smooth tool. And then from here, what I want to do is I want to draw the top image as it appears in figure 10, which is basically one, two, Three. Now, you don't have to count that way, of course, but there you go. And then what I want to do is I want to click the Brush tool on the Tools menu. So now we're specifically dealing with the brush itself. And uh, let's see here. I want to go ahead and choose the Brush tool, which here's my Spray Brush tool, which is what I've used before. I want to choose my Brush tool. Now, you'll notice my Brush tool, when I create it, says... Now I want to use the brush. It says click the brush size icon, and we want to go down by five elements. So here's my brush tool. And then I want to go down here in the options panel, and I want to look at the brush size. So I count down my brush size, one, two, three, four, five. I've already selected. That's my brush size. And now when I create it, this actually used a stroke, and the actual brush, you'll notice, will use the 
fill color. And so that's kind of a difference between the two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my selection tool, and this is at number one there, and I want to highlight and select this. So now I've selected the top um, dot pattern I get. Well, now it's just the wavy pattern, but you can see I've selected it with the dot. And then click the pencil mode smooth icon in the option area, right? So I want to do my pencil mode smooth, which is this bad boy right here. So I now I have that selected. Now you'll notice as I click it, it's actually smoothing it down. Right? So each time I click it, it goes a little bit smaller. So I can do that to get a general idea or general feel for it. Now I'm going to drag this and I'm going to change it to 20. Now you'll notice it gets rather large at that point in time. So it's expanding on the size of what I've done. And I, could eat, like, I couldn't drag it there. I could also do this. 20. Enter. So there's my 20. Now, from, from what I want to do is I can go to my style here, since I have that selected, and I can choose uh, dotted, and it'll actually change that to a dot. And I can also click here, and I can change it back to hairline. So it gives me some modifications there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my keyframe, and I'm going to create another layer. So I want to insert, and I want to do timeline, and I want to do layer again. So I've insert another layer. And then with um, layer 4 selected, I want to select 15. And then I want to insert timeline keyframe. You notice now I've started a blank slate again. And then what I want to do is I want to click and hold the brush tool. And I want to change it to my spray paint. So here's my brush. And I want to do my spray brush, which is good. And then I want to click on my spray it says flag now for you it might say no, nothing here but I want to just choose flag so I want to make sure it's flag right um, then I want to make sure the random scaling is clicked on and the rotate symbol and the random rotation are both clicked off I also want to make sure this is set to 9 pixels now it's going to be 11 um, I can also just click in it, choose 9, and there's my 9 pixels. Now, I've made sure my spray brush, I made sure I'm spraying a flag, and I'm going to create a U. So now I'm going to create a U, and you'll notice since I've set it to be flag, which is previously imported, I can now create a U, right? And then I could do an S. This is a lot harder to do than it looks, to make it actually look like something, as opposed to a bunch of flags fighting. Right, so there we go. Now, from here, what I want to do is I'm going to save the work, so it'll be tools, right? So I'm going to file, and I'm just going to save that, so it's automatically going to save it across. Then what I'm going to do is I'm operating on Flash 2-14. Um, all right, from here, we're going to then move on to Flash 2-14 and go to the very next section of this video. Thank you very much for your time. Um, we're going to be working with XY coordinates position objects on the stage. Have a good day.